Doctors have spoken of their optimism that a new blood test could transform the way cancer is diagnosed. The Galeri test can detect over 50 types of cancer and can be done at a GP surgery. The trial is still in its early stages but has shown promising results so far. Rachel Townsend has this report. This is a place for Lynn to remember her beloved daughter. Lisa was 39 when she died from stomach cancer. Her initial symptoms were not alarming and doctors first suspected IBS. By the time Lisa was diagnosed, the cancer had spread to her spine, lung and lymph nodes. She said, I've got three children, how long have I got? And they said weeks. And um, she got 14 months. You know, so we were living on like eggshells, thinking, oh, we'll best do this with her, we'll best do that with her, making memories. Because um, we thought the time would just run out, we didn't know she'd be here tomorrow. Take a seat. Thank you. But now a breakthrough in a major NHS trial could help detect up to 50 cancers at a much earlier stage with a simple blood sample. Early results show the test correctly revealed two thirds of cancers among almost five and a half thousand people in England and Wales who'd visited their GP with suspected symptoms. In 85% of those positive cases, it was also able to pinpoint the original source of the cancer. It really shows that there is a use for this type of test in symptomatic patients who might have cancer. And it really starts to pave the way for us understanding how best to integrate this test into um, investigations uh, for cancer in the NHS. But the test is very much a work in progress and GPs have urged caution. There clearly needs to be a lot more work done um, on a bigger sample size um, and then we'll have a much better idea uh, about both the potential benefits but also the potential downsides. And what we would want to avoid is large numbers of people being given a false positive test that suggests they might have cancer when in fact they don't. Results of the study are expected next year when NHS England could roll out a further trial involving another one million people. For Lisa and thousands more, this has come too late. But it certainly offers hope. And in a disease as cruel as cancer, the hope is very much needed. Rachel Townsend, ITV News.